So in this video, we're going to talk about the admixture proportions by uh, chromosome. So the first thing you want to do is obviously choose uh, whichever project version you're going to choose. I'm going to choose Eurogenes as it's my favorite. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is find your kit, find whichever uh, calculator mo model you're going to use. I've been doing the Eurogenes uh, K36, so I'm going to stick to the Eurogenes K36. Um, so when it first opens up um, in this uh, version, it gives you all the different colors. Um, each color is assigned to each different um, different area. Um, And then this one is going to be um, broken up like, you know, this is your chromosome. It's very long. So, just gives you an idea. It's extremely long. Um, and then you just go, um, if I go all the way back to the side... Then you can go up and, you know, you're looking at, like, uh, if we start at chromosome 1, we see, like, a bunch of yellow. Well, we know um, here's yellow. And it shows how in each uh, chromosome will show the different colors. Like I said, um, for every different color that matches an area, and it will show on your chromosomes. Um what area is influence so like uh like chromosome two I have these large amounts of green um like really light green so we go up here and we find well that's a central uh central European so that's how that would do then we'd find red uh but then you start getting into some of these that are really close in color and you would need to actually inspect that a little bit better to figure out um, which color it would be for, like, the red. So, there it is. Let's see. If we go back up here to black, it's Iberian. Uh, the orange is Italian. And you just go through and just... It's just another... Um, toy to play with, I guess, if you're really interested in how it, each uh, chromosome is painted. Um, and then you can go all the way down, you know, shows you, shows you them all. Another thing, I'm, I'm gonna go want to make it, uh, in this video as well, instead of making a separate, is the, uh, chromosome painting, but the reduced size, since... Obviously, you saw how long those bars are. Um, this version, you know, with it being reduced and all that, if we go back and just do the same exact one, it's actually going to show everything that it showed um, in the previous vi uh, pretty previous screen, only it's mushed up. So this would be a lot better for you. You're not going to get with the K36. You would with, uh, if you went with like uh, the K13 probably. But you can't actually see everything here. Uh, I wish it would like uh, show side by side so you can see it. Um, but it gives you a version. And once again, you know, you can, well, Black Siberian, uh, Orange is... Uh, it's actually not on here, but orange is Italian, somewhere down here behind the chart, the uh, chart itself. But it just gives you a, another picture so that you can and look at the different chromosomes, um, uh, how you see them, and what there is. So that that's just another thing that you can play with. And let's see here. Uh, if you wanted to do this, 
the um like if I wanted to add myself and add uh I don't I'm not sure who this is right away but if we went down or whatever it would it's going to show you a screen that's something something like this until it loads and then it's going to show you the differences uh, between the two uh, matches now this isn't going to show you know this isn't a screen to show you uh, how you match that opposite kit number which I believe is my aunt's kit if this this tool is not going to show you that all it's showing you is the difference between um, uh, the areas like um, you know uh, Central European and whatnot like what I have and what she has and that's what what the, what this chart would actually be able to show that would be something else and you can also do that one um, uh, the non reduced version well normally you would be able to do that shall I say and that's just something else you can play with um, let's see yeah, I think that that was everything right here that I could think of to do. For some reason, it likes to kick me out. Um, then you have the Admixture Oracle of Population Search. Um, you can just play around. That's just another tool tool there. I've only ever used it like two or three times maybe in the whole time that I've been using GD Match, which has been for quite a while. It's an extra tool there. By all means, you can use that. Um, You know, just read the information at the top if that's what you're looking for. Um, there's not a whole lot to that one. But like I said, it's there if you want it. Then you have, uh, we already went over that. Um, the multiple kits. So you can look at several. Um, I... There is also the are your parents related? Um, I would love to be able to tell you that this works 100%. Apparently it does. It'd be able to tell you if they're related. Um, but I don't know anybody's. I personally don't know anybody who's their kid for sure. Their parents are related. So, you know, you put your kit number in, brings you back this fancy little uh, chromosome, um, and it shows, you know, all these. Then you go down, well, there's no indication that your parents are related, so my parents aren't related. Now, there are a lot of, in here that's, you know, the base pair is a half match. Um, you see the yellow, obviously red says there's no match, but... A lot of your DNA, even between myself and every stranger out there, most of your DNA is identical between everybody. There's only a tiny bit of DNA that makes you who you are and makes you different than me. So, that's just something to take into consideration. But, it tells you there's no indication that your parents aren't related. Or maybe in your case they are but either way they're going to tell tell you it's going to tell you if if you're related or not if they are related or not 